is um in London, I guess England as a whole or London specifically, but I've, you know, kind of read about and heard about um like when you're training as an actor and kind of coming up, mm. um, there's a lot of theater, right? Loads. And and I feel like that's a huge advantage to be like doing theater, um, kind of growing up with it, right? I'm not not like based off your last statement, just kind yeah. of more of like a you know, coming up in that space. Yeah, I feel like um theater is a massive learning um experience being an actor because I, I never trained or anything. So the only bit of training I feel like I've ever done in my career is the two theater projects that I did. And it's just because there's no better feeling than being on a stage, performing your lines where you only get to do it once. If you mess up, it's only you that knows you've messed up. So I've messed up before on stage and I came out on my cue, but they'd said my line that was at the end of the scene. <laughs> oh, so I've come out at the start, but said the line that was meant to be at the end of the scene. And my, my co-star looked at me like, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I just found myself naturally in the moment just trying to claw my way back. But on it, I felt like I was on stage for about four hours. I was probably yeah. there for about 15 seconds. I was yeah. just like, <laughs> but it was, it's also because I feel like the, 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 and New York also has a massive um, theater, um, you know, um, space. But in terms of London, it's just built into you through training. For all the actors that I know that train, they get trained, you know, the, the thespian way. And then also just, tapping into different different part of your crafts that you wouldn't necessarily do if you hadn't trained. And I just feel like theater allows you to be free. It also allows you to, you know, realize that you can do a take in one so that when you then come onto the mm. screen, you're like, oh, I get 10 takes of this right. or I get free takes or, well, some of them anyway, because I just finished a job where you don't get no 10 takes. It's just one take, boom, you're out. And I'm like, whoa, this is, it's intense. But because of theater, it helped me to do that. So, um, yeah, I think the theatre space in London is a, is a real important um, stepping stone for actors over there. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that way. I mean, I did theatre when I was 12. Mm. Uh, that was the first of my real introduction into it. And At I, 12? I, yeah, young. Yeah, it was with the school and everything. But um, well, just to segue back to that part a little bit, I played Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk, and I had like a one-page <laughs> singing monologue. <laughs> it was insane. And halfway through, I forgot the lines. And so I was just standing there like, uh, you know, and then like making it up a little bit, but it's that same thing where I think obviously everyone knew I messed up because yeah. there was too much dead space, but yeah. then also, and then I knew I messed up. And so I was even more nervous on top of that. But, um, oh, I, I learned a lot though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn a lot. And I, you learn I feel like it also just allows you to understand that it's okay to mess up. And yeah. as long as you can mess up and, and rectify that situation and make it, make it right then it's kind of like life. Do you know what I mean? Life, you can make a mistake. As long as you know how to then make it right, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And I feel like, obviously, in the moments when you go quiet for too long, you're like, <laughs> okay, everyone's noticed, everyone's noticed. But if you can bring it back, people forget about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. It must it go on. Yeah, it must go on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I know I've been there. Yeah. Yeah, but it's that. it reminds me of that scene from... Uh, a uh, from Troy with Achilles, and he's like, "That's why no one will remember your name." Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll do it. I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah, man. you know, it I is, mean? and it, it is a thing that. And I feel like us as actors, it's like we finish a take, and then our head will go home and be like, "Was that okay? Was that good enough? Could I have done this? Could I have changed that?" When in actual fact, it's more of a thing of like, if you know you gave your best, and you know in the moment whatever came out felt real, then mm -hmm. that's it. And my thing was, no notes is good notes, and I learned this from young, where it's like. A director has so much going on on a set. So it's like, if he has no notes for you, you're not in his head for something that's gone wrong. Yeah. Right. So you just, if they're happy and they move on, it's like, cool, he's got the shot or she's got the yeah. shot. That's all right. But I feel like once you get notes, sometimes it's not looked at as a bad thing. It's just maybe a different avenue you can take to approach that scene. Thank you for watching Studio 22. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow our socials at Studio 22 Podcast.